Since the dawn of humanity, the sky has connected us with the cosmos, and people have told stories related to the patterns in the sky. The changing sky has inspired the creation of calendars and guided the world's first long-distance travelers. From South Africa, astronomers made the first measurements of the distance to the nearest star, pioneered the use of photography to make the first photographic maps of the sky and surveyed the shape of the earth. Today, the South African Astronomical Observatory still operates from the old Royal Observatory headquarters in Cape Town, but the modern telescopes have relocated 400 kilometers north to a mountain top near the Karoo village of Sutherland where astronomy has become a tourist attraction. Here in the Karoo Desert, the universe is sparking young minds with the color and excitement of science. On this mountain top, manned research telescopes explore the cosmos every clear night, monitoring black holes, surveying distant stars and galaxies, or giant explosions in space. Robotic telescopes measure vibrations in the sun and look at cannibal stars. All these activities give science important clues to the basic nature of matter. Until 2005, the 1.9 meter was the biggest research telescope in Southern Africa. Researching black holes, pulsars, stars and galaxies, but it is now dwarfed by the Southern African Large Telescope, also known as SALT. SALT, an international endeavor, with partners from the UK, Germany, Poland, America and New Zealand, has 91 one-meter mirrors in a giant array 11 meters across, making it the largest single optical telescope in the Southern Hemisphere. SALT's cameras can record images as faint as a candle on the moon. Its sophisticated instruments can dissect light from distant stars and galaxies, answering questions such as, what was the universe like when the first stars were formed? How are stars born? How do they work? And how do they die? What kinds of planets form around other suns? SALT is well placed to explore the universe for decades to come while inspiring generations of Africans to aspire to the stars. World-class science is happening in Southern Africa and just as the building of SALT stretched the capabilities of South African industry, using SALT will surely inspire the next generations of scientists, engineers and scholars who will come home to SALT South Africa's giant eye probing the secrets of the cosmos. Stars are not scattered randomly throughout space. Every star you see in the sky is part of a much larger structure called our Milky Way Galaxy. Our Milky Way Galaxy is made up of hundreds of billions of stars, as well as the gas and dust from which all stars form, including our own star, the Sun. If we could travel away from our solar system, we would pass through a vast ocean of stars. 
Recently, astronomers have discovered that many of these stars have orbiting planets, just as our Sun does. Traveling even further out, we would start to see individual stars grouped together into giant spiral arms. The giant spiral structure we see in this artist's impression shows our Milky Way galaxy. At this distance, we can no longer make out individual stars. The bright points we see are groups of thousands of stars. In fact, our galaxy is so huge that at the scale you are viewing, our sun would be smaller than a single atom. For most of history, our Milky Way galaxy was thought to be the whole universe. But in the 1920s, astronomers discovered that there are many more galaxies beyond our own Milky Way galaxy. There are galaxies in every direction that we look, and at all distances. Each galaxy contains many billions of stars. To date, astronomers have observed more than 100 billion galaxies. This vast panorama of galaxies forms our observable universe. Even more galaxies lie beyond those we can observe directly. But no one knows just how far this universe of galaxies extends. The universe as a whole may be infinitely large and may contain an infinite number of galaxies. No one yet knows. The force of gravity is so familiar to us that we take it for granted in our everyday lives. But the tug of gravity has also been at work throughout our universe for billions of years. All matter attracts all other matter. This principle of gravity has assembled the structures we see today. The galaxies, stars, and planets. This process has been at work ever since our universe was born. You're looking at an image of the universe as it was, shortly after the Big Bang. Taken by NASA's WMAP space probe, this colorized image shows that our universe was born with the seeds for its structure already in place. The darker blue areas are the ones that are slightly denser. In less than a billion years, these denser regions evolved into the first stars and galaxies, as the tug of gravity did its work. Over billions more years, solar systems formed. This process is still going on today. Stars are born, live their lives, and die. But gravity continually tugs at the ashes of long dead stars, forming new ones, continuing this grand cycle of which we are a part. These galaxies, imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope, are among the most remote objects we can see. The light from the most distant of these galaxies has taken 10 to 12 billion years to reach us. But we can detect light that was emitted even further back in time, back to a time before any galaxies existed, back to the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. 
scientists had predicted that light from the early universe would no longer be visible to the naked eye. On its immense journey to Earth, the light would gradually lose most of its energy as our universe cooled and expanded. The once visible light would be shifted to a less energetic form of light known as radio waves. In 1965, this light was discovered by accident by astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. Aiming their large detector at the sky, they were surprised to find a source of radio waves that seemed to be coming uniformly from every direction. They had inadvertently found light from the beginning of our universe. In 1989, NASA launched the Cosmic Background Explorer to capture the first image of this ancient light. This spacecraft carefully measured the spectrum of the light for more than a year. Here is the image that this spacecraft produced. The light had exactly the properties that one would expect for light emitted by very hot matter nearly 14 billion years ago. Nature has given us a window on our origins, revealing a nearly featureless, forbidding early universe. Contrary to popular belief, the Big Bang took place everywhere in space. As a result, the afterglow of the Big Bang still fills our universe and comes to us continuously from all directions. So if we could see it with the naked eye, it would fill the entire sky it would be a constant reminder that our universe was once a very different place from the one we inhabit today. What does it mean to say that if we look deeper into space, we find we are looking further back in time? This is due to the finite speed of light as it travels. In our everyday lives, we perceive light as traveling instantaneously. However, the speed of light has been measured to be 186,000 miles per second. At short distances, such as those in a room when we switch on a light, we seem to see the effect of light traveling instantly. If we now take a look at light traveling over astronomical distances, the effect of the finite speed of light becomes noticeable. Take a look at the moon. Its average distance from the Earth is about 240,000 miles. Light coming to us from the moon takes over a second to travel this distance. Apollo astronauts who visited the moon demonstrated this. Mission controllers back on Earth perceived a one second delay in receiving communications from the moon. An object much farther away from Earth is the Sun. It is at an average distance from the Earth of about 100 million miles. At this distance, light from the Sun takes approximately 8 minutes to reach us. When we watch the final rays of the setting Sun, it actually dropped below the horizon eight minutes ago. When we see light from very distant objects in our universe, we see light emitted from them many years ago. We see these objects as they were in the distant past. When we look out deeper into our universe, we do not see anything as it is now, 
but as it was at different times, depending upon how far out the object is. The reality is, because light takes time to travel, no matter what instrument we use, we can only see snapshots of the past. The final image in this series is from the Hubble Space Telescope. The light we see from these galaxies started its trip toward Earth between 10 and 12 billion years ago. This is the furthest back in time we can see using visible light. But this isn't the end of our journey. If we don't limit our observations to visible light, then we can continue further back in space and time. We can even see what our universe was like just after it was born. Galaxies are so distant that they appear frozen in space, even through the most powerful telescopes. No one has ever directly seen a galaxy move. However, in the early 20th century, Astronomers developed a technique for determining how fast a galaxy is moving towards or away from us by analyzing light from the galaxy. To their astonishment, they found that, except for a few nearby galaxies, all of the galaxies we can observe are moving away from us and from each other. Our universe is expanding. In 1929, the American astronomer Edwin Hubble found a pattern to this motion. The farther a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away. Since galaxies are moving away from each other now, in the past, all galaxies must have been crowded more closely together. In fact, based on the observed rate at which galaxies are moving, Astronomers deduce that our universe has been expanding for about 14 billion years, from a time when all the matter in our observable universe must have been extremely densely packed together. That extraordinary event, 14 billion years ago, has come to be known as the Big Bang. <laughs> 